Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Okami. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! We're on our way back to Kabiki Village. Because, well, this is a place for us to make progress. However, because we didn't explore those other two spots on the map, Asuna is going to yell at us. You haven't seen everything there is to see! I don't want to go to the lake! There's nothing there! Yet! The reality is that it's just not convenient right now. However, if you have gone there first, then you won't, then as soon won't bark at us. Later! <laughs> Come on, what's your hurry? <laughs> exactly. Woo! Hooray for the leaves. But uh, things are still looking a little dead. Which is the actual reason why we come back. What's all this then? Well, let's go check it out. And, well, this fellow here is going to tell us what's going on. Oh, oh, oh what joy! Hey, what joy to, to see life returning to the land! Just 15 more to go! We'll be blessed with a miracle when all the trees are in bloom. So, yeah, we're here to find the 15 in trees around Kamiki and bloom them. Much to the surprise of the locals. Surprise and or delight of the locals. But before we get too carried away, let's uh, come back over here and pick up something that I missed. It's impressive that I missed it because um, the other chest was the buried one. Yeesh. Oh well. Should just be the four left. But uh, we'll know once we bloom the, the final tree, for sure. Is this one worth six? It is! We got him! Hooray! Hello, Mr. Orange. Oh, at last, at last, the answer to all my prayers. How the village's trees have, have sprung back to life. It is time to harness the power that dwells within the good us. Yes, it is time for the for the Kodohana Shuffle! I shall summon back the spirit of the divine tree, Kodohana! But first, I must break my vow of temperance. I shall gingerly sip this sake, and soon we shall see blossoms. Uh, that looks more like chugging, not gingerly sipping. Whoa. Oh, yes, yes. 
Yes! Uh, Grabs, you okay? You got a weird look in your eyes. Kami's a bit worried. Snowball! Soon! You're about to see! What you're about to see is the stuff of legends! Duh! Behold the secret of secrets! I give you the Konohana Shuffle! Unfortunately, the shuffle's gonna need a little help. Can you guess what we're gonna have to do? Yeah, so Shuffle's not quite powerful enough. So clearly he didn't drink enough. However, unfortunately, Bloom is the most fickle breast technique in the game. If it doesn't play with us, it'll instead draw a sun on the background and we fail the event. One more blossom. Sakuya. <laughs> and you, um, look very nice. Yes, it's my understanding that the localization actually put more clothes onto her than uh, she would normally be wearing. <laughs> Which makes a lot of the things in the scene make a little bit more sense. But no matter. Praise the sun! <laughs> Hooray! Uh huh. Store the saplings, and you too will benefit from the power of that result. Although we don't get to see a, a uh, praise tally, sh she gave us 20 praise. <laughs> and she praised the sun. Speaking of the sun, it has gone away so that we may see stars. Ah, we have a flute player. Come, speak with us. Whoa, back off a bit, buddy. That looked like it hurt. <laughs> ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Long I have hidden myself here among the nature of Kamiki. 
But the time has come for I, Hasugami, proud member of the Hanagami, trio of floor gods, to reveal myself. May my power be of assistance on your grave quest. All right then. Wonder what power it is. Good thing Asun's here. The water lily power. You can make lily pads. Yay! Oh, I see. It's an anti-drowning technique. Ah, okay. Yes. For those wondering, this treasure chest is in fact behind Ein Susano's home. So, we'll make some lily pads. How do we make lily pads? Well, all you gotta do is draw circles on the water. So, it's the sunrise technique, except in the sky. I, it's on the water. Or it's the bloom technique, except instead of on a plant, it's on the water. A lot of circles involved here. But no matter. Let us have lilies. Hey, wipe that smirk off your face, furball! <laughs> oh, we'll probably still get wet. But now that we have this power, we can use it to travel further outside the village. Like, for example, that waterway to the forest. Or, you know, that's really kind of it. Regardless, Sakuya's back to her normal self. The villagers are happy. But there are still more saplings out there. Her work's far from done, Pooch. Oh well. Yay! However, there's also stuff over there. So. Let's, uh, not fall in the water if we can help it. Help it, I cannot. Oh well. Good news is, we don't have to aim for a spot that, uh, that is away from us. Now well, there are three things buried on this island. And the clover is the only one we'll see in the daytime. So... Let's see if I can locate the other. There it is! Yes, yeah, like like any other digging spot, these these will uh these are illuminated during the night. There you are. Hooray! Hey! The beads are ours. Now then, before we leave, we leave Kamiki, there's a few more things to get. There's precisely two more things to get. Both of them are up by, by Sakuya's tree. You know, where we started the game. Uh, 
First, solves these ladies. The tree suddenly burst out in flowers. What's going on? It's a dream. It's gotta be. If someone would just hit me, I'd wake up from it. You got it. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Sorry about that, little girl. That takes care of one. The other is this nice big fruit up here. Decorative accessory wrought from the horn of a bull. Oh yes, any time we bloom a guardian sapling, there will be fruit on Ko on Konohana. And that fruit will have likely treasure. But now that we've dealt with all that, we are done here in Kamiki. Possibly merely for now. Regardless, be on our way. Ooh, rock. Where to? Well, yeah, spots on the map that we didn't explore beforehand. One of them is that shrine there. The other is just past it. At the, at the entrance to the moon cave. Where's the moon cave? Well, what's that in front of us, Asun? Oh, it's a big old mountain. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, that is all we came for. There's literally nothing else to do there. Otherwise, we have this moon shrine. People purify themselves before visiting the moon cave. Because, you know, Taurus. Hello, sir. Oh, dear me, dear me, this is awful. Priest Mika. Oh, a most welcome guest has wandered into our shrine. Our timing is immaculate, Wolf. I need to speak to you. Outside the hide is Lake Harami, Nippon's largest lake. In the middle of it, there was an old shrine called the Moon Cave. But it's completely disappeared, vanished into thin air. It enshrined the wicked demon that Naki and Shirinui once defeated. It housed Sukui Yami, the fabled sword that keeps the demon at bay. That demon, its name was... No! I'll be cursed if I say it. Anyway, the point is, what on earth has happened to the shrine? It's guarded day and night by the town master, Waka. On, the, on the one occasion he has to go back to the city, this happens. Oh dear. Lately, there have been monsters haunting these parts as well. Those mischief-making monsters are the worst! I expect this is their doing. Well, maybe not this time, but they still need to be dealt with. I've already prepared a wanted list for them. Hmm, I see. The gods will have marked all those wanted monsters with a sign. 
You will know us as soon as you lay eyes on them. However, the very cautious. They only come out at night. Will you go put this list up somewhere obvious, Wolf? I'm sure some brave soul will step up to the challenge. Yay! May the gods protect you always. Do you think so? Putting up our list? Oh! Ah, you have a point. Although, he's quite mistaken. We're not going to run into him whether we like it or not. We're going to have to actively seek them out. So, let's do that. At night time. We encounter Toya of the Short Temper. You, you must be of your, uh, of your type of soon. Has an exercising arrow stuck in it. It has sacred relics for driving away evil. So somebody really wanted to get rid of this one. Righto! Alright, that'll take care of you. Out for you, big guy. I'll show you, short temper. Aha! Toya of the short temper defeated. Yes, it was assume. Yeah, that was kind of forced, actually. <laughs> uh huh. Ah, I see. Let's see. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, or which which name we strike off, does it? I mean. All we need to know is that there's five of them. <laughs> yeah, you wish it could be that simple. Oh, we need to know which one. <laughs> and do it right. Left to right. What if we do this? <laughs> Oh, all right. You're always just out for the loot, aren't you? Either way, having visited the priest and exited, it, the game will automatically put it to the start of nighttime. Supposing, of course, it was daytime. I don't know what happens if you visit the priest east when it's already nighttime. Never gave it a, tr a try. Instead of worry about that, let's encounter this scroll! For Akuzo, the interloper. Which of these guys shows up is complete is actually quite random. It's also amazingly unimportant. Like that. Raw. And once you've, you've defeated the named monster, combat is over. Which is why I gunned for the other two first. <laughs> Ooh, raw. Which one were you? 
completely forgotten. I think it was you? Okay. <laughs> Bother. Get down here. Take that. Didn't get any, any demon things for that one, because I had some dead fish on my back that I needed to deal with. Let's see if we can avoid this scroll. Ha ha! The next one that we are after is right over here. This one on the path. The Vandal. Like that. Of the Vandal defeated. Whatever his name was, the Vandal is the important part. Because <laughs> you know, those titles are far easier to remember than the names. There. Onimaro, the incorrigible. Like that. Wave it to him. On tomorrow, the Corrigible has been defeated. Oh, camera! Pay it. Stop spazzing. Ugh. One at the top of the list. Now we need to go and face the String Cutter, which is a strangely ironic name for these types of enemies. Since they kind of rely on their strings not being cut. Dealt with. 
Oh, well, one would hope so. <laughs> yes. But we shall take the list to him next time. Till then, later. <laughs>